video today is Gillingham versus Plymouth Argyle, the last game of the season. Um, th this game for both teams has no real meaning. Both teams have secured their place in League One and no team can be fighting for relegation or promotion going into this last game. Our previous results versus Gillingham earlier in the season on the 2nd of January 2021, we beat them 1-0 at home. Previous to that, the last time we played them away on the 19th of April 2019, we lost 3-1 away. Previous to that, again on the 23rd of October 2018, we won 3-1 at home. The last time Argold beat Gillingham at Gillingham's ground <clears throat> was the 28th of February 1981. That's where we beat them 1-0 and it was in the League Division 3. So hopefully we can beat that today. Obviously, we, we're on a bad luck of form. Um, Gillingham's current form, they're going to this game 11th on 64 points. Their previous results follow is a 1-1 draw with Burton, a 2-2 draw with Northampton Town, a 1-0 win with Peterborough, a 3-2 loss to Oxford United, and before that, a 0-0 draw with Shrewsbury. While with Argyle, we stand 18th for 53 points. Our previous games follow is a 3-1 loss to Sunderland, a 3-1 loss to Oxford United, a 6-0 loss to Charlton, a 1-1 draw with Burton Albion and a 3-0 loss to Hull City. Gilling Gillingham's lineup today, it shows as, as if it's a 4-4-1-1 with Bonham in goal, Mackenzie, Tucker, Old Jalive and O'Connor at the back. Graham, Dempsey, O'Keefe and McDonald in the midfield. Lee playing as a centre forward and then Oliver up front. Argyle fans will know there's quite a, a couple old Argyle players in there. O'Keefe, who was on loan, and Lee, who played for us before the Derek Adams era. <clears throat> so, Argyle lineup is a 4 4 2 with Cooper in goal, Lord Watts, Tomlinson, and Edwards at the back. Maya, Reeves, Fauna, and Kamara in the midfield, and Ennis and Hardy up front. Quite a good lineup. Um, Obviously, Noah Poku, he got a red card against Sunderland. But it's good to see youngsters like Law and Tomlinson playing. This could potentially be the last game for Fauna as he is on loan. But hopefully, maybe, possibly, we, we sign him or he does well in, in his future. I'll see you at half-time. My score prediction is going to be a 2-2 draw. Um, so, yeah, hopefully Argyle can get a goal on the score sheet and be playing right, well. So, it's the end of the first half now and Argyle currently trail 1-0. The start of the half was a bit of a, a massive delay uh, through a massive head injury from Kel Watts. He had, he had to go off, unfortunately, but he was on the floor for around 10 minutes. It, it looked quite serious. At first, it, it was just a head-to-head -head conclusion. It was a fair 50-50 with, I think, a Gillingham striker, Oliver. Um, Ryan Lowe did try protest and say Oliver did you know, put a bit, bit, bit more in, but to me, it seemed as if it was okay. Um, and he was on the floor, he had to be stretched off in the end, wish him all the best, obviously he's on loan at Newcastle, so the likelihood of him coming back isn't isn't high, so I wish him all the best in the rest of his career, um, and it was just unfortunate he had to end the season with a, with a bad head injury, around 30 seconds in the game. Anyway, Moore came on for him in around the 17th minute, uh, and it pushed Fauna at the back. And Fauna looked quite uncomfortable for the rest of the half. He looked as if he wasn't really enjoying himself and he didn't really want to play there, which is understandable considering he is a holding midfielder. Um, but he, he's done his job and Argyle's played well. They, they've had the, the better of possession. Gillings, um, Gillingham's had the better of chances. And their goal came from a, a cutback cross flicked onto the back post from Oliver, uh, from Ollie Lee, and then Oliver got at the back post. It looked offside to me, but I think looking back on it now, it wasn't. But that was in the 28th minute. Argos main chance came from a free kick hit by Reeves, went over the over the bar after a deflection. It was very close, and the corner uh, didn't didn't lead to anything. But hopefully, the second half now, I think we can get a goal. We're, like I say, we're on top of possession. We we've had more passes statistically. Um, and all we need now is a goal. So hopefully we can possibly pull out a draw or even make a good comeback. Right, guys, so it's full time now and Argyle end the season with a 1-0 loss up at Gillingham. The result didn't really matter today. Um, main, main thing is coming out of this result is is the best of luck for Kel Watts, obviously with his head injury. That, that, that's very important and I wish him all the best of luck and I wish him and his family all the best. Um, 
Argyle started off the half <clears throat> not the best, I would say. They nearly went 2-0 down. Lee's hit a, a quite a snapshot from close in. And it was a brilliant save by Cooper pulling out for a corner. It was, it was sort of a, a reflex save where, you know, if Lee put it a bit wider, a bit more into the corner, it would have been a goal. But it's, it's a good save for Cooper. Um, the, the second half had quite a few yellow cards and substitutions. Ben Reeves got a yellow card in the 55th minute. Followed by Stuart O'Keefe for Gillingham, who got a yellow card in the 56th minute. Uh, Dempsey for Gillingham also got a yellow card in the 70th minute. And uh, the the subs for, for Gillingham, uh, McDonald came off for Johnson. Stuart O'Keefe came off for Henry Woods. Uh, Oliver came off for Akande uh, for an injury. He looked as if he hurt his shoulder when he, when he went into a challenge. Um... Uh, and that seemed about it. But for Argyle, uh, we 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 had a few subs. We had Ennis come on, come off for Lolos. Moore come off for Jeff Court, which I thought was quite strange considering Moore came on in the early in the second half, early in the first half. Uh, Mayer came off for Krask, and Cooper came off for McCormick, ending his career at Argyle with three hundred and fifty appearances. What a career he has had! What. A, Argyle legend he is and he, he hopefully will stay at the club and will become part of the club uh, as a coach or an ambassador. Argyle end the season in 18th, which, you know, you can take the positives out of it. It's not relegation. We got promoted. The first day when you get promoted is not to get relegated. But considering the roller coaster type season we had, we possibly thought we should have ended higher. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support that's came onto my channel and if anyone wonders now what videos I'm going to be doing during the summer, I'll, I'll be taking any suggestions down below in the comments. My Instagram down below, message me. Um, I'll be taking any suggestions, uh, mainly football videos. I'll try and get a few footballers on for uh, for my podcast and I'll try and see what I can do. I'll try to bring something new and I'll probably probably try and give some you know weekly weekly videos if I can but I'll be keeping them up to scratch um and also for anyone asking I, I will be getting a season ticket uh when they come out which is tomorrow um so hopefully all the best to anyone that's going to get a season ticket stay safe and everyone have a good summer our goal we'll see you all back in in August uh, but you'll see me sometime soon. Make sure you give me any suggestions. Thank you all so much for the support. Um, but yeah, I'll see you again. Come on.